<laughs> this guy's toast. Next up. Ooh. The two mech classes. The warrior and paladin. Let's do warrior. <laughs> warrior. Mech warrior. One minute, one three. Whenever this minion takes damage, gain two armor. This is nice. Great early game. One mana, one three is good stat. Comes with free armor. It's a mech. Benefits from mech synergy. That's good. I wouldn't say OP, OP, but uh, very strong against aggro. Gives you quite a lot of survivability. Toast, I'll sub if you tell me what program you're using. Uh, Photoshop. Also, you don't need a sub. That's a fair question. Uh, weapons project. I. It's a weapon removal. And if you run Harrison Jones with it, it's a combo that draws you three cards. Like if your opponent drops a uh, Skull of the Minari and you don't have a way to destroy their weapon, you just play Weapons Project. It's like, hey, bye bye, weapon. Bye bye, Twig of the World Tree. And if they are not a class that runs weapon, you can still run Harrison Jones, right? Get yourself eight, uh, three cards. Hmm. You could ooze. I mean, does ooze work with Harrison though? Last I checked, ooze battle cry doesn't say draw three cards. Hmm. It makes Harrison always relevant. Is a thing. Ugh, but I agree, it's a bit of a dream scenario. <clears throat> if you're a control deck, you don't really care about your opponent having the weapon. Because you're not playing that much minions. But your weapon would be good. If you're a control and your opponent's aggro, you get more value out of the weapon. And like I said, Twig, Skull the Minari, good counter. Extra synergy with Harrison Jones, but that's technically two weapon removals you're running already. <sighs> hmm. How popular is Twig Druid gonna be? Well, I don't think Twig Druid would be that popular anymore. Not because it sucks, it's because they got something more disgusting than Twig already. Twig Druid's like, <laughs> Twig? Why would I need 10 mana when I have a 7 mana that makes my mana goes free? Yeah. I don't think people are gonna be running Twigs anymore with the Druid cards. Uh, two mana, give a minion rush, draw a card. The cycling helps. It's expensive though, it's real expensive. I think it's bad. I think it's bad. If it's charged, maybe we'll talk. It would be good at one mana. I agree. At one mana, it'd be much more playable. Two mana is way too expensive. Omega assembly. Discover a mech. If you have 10 mana crystals, keep all three. I like this because I think control bot warrior is going to be a thing with Dr. Boom. Uh, 
and a one man I get three random mechs. It's good. I'm putting this here because I think control bot warrior is gonna be great. Which makes all of your mechs have rush if you play Dr. Boom. Security rover, whenever this minion takes damage, summon a 2-3 mech with taunt. Mm. Only good with Dr. Boom active. Hmm. With Dr. Boom active, it would be pretty nice. You can run it in right away for a mech taunt that you can use to run it again. But I think that's too dreamy. Six mana is a lot. Good with magnetic synergy, but I think as a standalone card, it's too weak. I'm gonna put this in the trash pile. Yeah, it's very good with Rush. If it came with Rush as a baseline, I think it'd be nice, but. Me no like. I think there's much better options. Like Brawl. Honestly, as a control warrior, if you want to clear the board, just Brawl. Just Shield Slam. Just Execute. No synergy with um, Taunt Warrior either. That's much better options to do what you want a security rover to do. Anywho, uh, 5 mana 3 for Dynomatic. Battle Cry, deal 5 damage, randomly spit between all minions except Max. Between 1 to 5, chat, hit me with that rating. I'm seeing some 1 5s in chat. Some 2 5s, more 1 5s. Ooh, wow. I'm seeing more low numbers than high numbers. It's weird because I think this card is good. I really like this card. I think it's like four minimum. The ability to deal five damage targeted is great. If your opponent has one five health minion, this kills it. So let's think about it as a mad bomber. I mean, if your opponent has four one health, five one health minion, this kills it. It's flexible. It's better than a Mad Bomber. Mad Bomber is an Mad Bomber is not constructed good. Which was a uh, Mad Bomber is a five mana three three that deals four damage to a target minion. It was arena good, but it's not constructed good. I like Dynomatic because you can use it against one target or multiple targets. So you can target your own minion. Well, that's good because you're playing the one class that benefits from targeting your own minion. Um, Frothing Berserker, Acolyte of Pain, Armorsmith, Security Rover. All the Enrage possibility. In any other class, hitting your own minion is not good. But A, if you're playing defensively, you're not going to have your other own minions. If you're playing offensively, you have minions that benefit from getting damage. Gunspire. I like it. I think this card is great. Rot phase 2. And if you're playing a mech warrior, you're not going to target your own minion. The only way this card sucks is if you play against an enemy mech deck. Toast, it's random. Yeah, I know it's random. But all minions, not all characters. Toes, it's random. Yes. Thank you, chat. I'm aware. Toes, this is garbage. No, no. All right. I'm going to lock in my answer. Dynomatic is a great card. It's a great card. I see a lot of 
haters in chat, but I also see a lot of people supporting it. It's very defensive. I think it's good. I rank it 4 out of 5. You know what? I'm going to give it 5 out of 5. This is a great card. That will see play in a lot of Warrior deck. Book it. Clip it. It's a great card. Anyone who gave it a 1 rating, I would expect that apology in 2 weeks. And if I'm wrong, I will apologize. I, I think it's just blatantly good. Alright, anywho. Beryllium Nullifier Magnetic 3-8. Can be targeted by spells or hero power mech. Okay, this one's garbage. It's way too expensive for what it does. Good magnetic bonus, but... Super Collider, Super Kika. 5 mana 1 3 after you attack a minion, force it to attack one of its neighbor. Expensive. 5 mana is real expensive. Potentially kill 2 minions off one swing, though. Assuming your opponent um, has bad positioning or if things line up perfectly. Oh, someone mentioned uh, the f 3 mana 5 for Drake would be a good combo. So you can give your opponent a poisonous card, like a poisonous minion, and make his minion hit the poisonous minion. It's a cute synergy, but I think the setup is really tough for the optimum outcome. Like, yeah, if you always hit it so that, you know, two minions are trading against each other, like a mountain giant and a lich king, like, bam, like, bam, smashing their genitalia against one another and both dying. That's great, but I don't think a situation like that is quite possible. Dr. Boom, mm, I'm just going to rate this high. You guys should all know what Dr. Boom does at this point. All your mechs have rush, and then you get like a random hero power each turn. Right. Got to put you right here, bad boy. The Boom Ship, the Boom Ship. Now this one. What do you think about the boom ship? Great and big warrior. Your charge devil sword can go face. Very expensive. Huge overcommitment on the board. So if your opponent has Twisting Nether or Psychic Scream, but that's only two classes. Huge tempo play. My only concern is value. Because you're committing a lot on the board right away. But if you're playing a slow control deck and you have Omega Assembly, it's okay, right? For you to overcommit hugely on the board. But maybe you just play Big Warrior. A Gromash, 2 Devil Sword, that's 14 damage plus 10. 24 damage. 
they have rush so even if you hit non-charge minions it can still work what other minions besides charge rot face lich king yesera It uses up a lot of cards, but full board wipes like Twisting Nether and Psychic Scream is not that common. And you would play around those cards by not playing the Boom Ship and take it slow. Mm. Yeah, I like the Rod Face potential because Rod Face being able to attack right away is really nice. If you're going to play something like the Boom Ship, you need late game refill. Like maybe even a Dead Man's Hand. It's a powerful effect. I think such a powerful effect warrants a high rating. I can picture it. I'm up against a warrior. He's armoring, he's shield stamming, he's executed, and it's t 9 mana. And so I'm like. Oh god, please don't have boom ship, please don't have boom ship, please don't have boom ship, please don't have boom ship. And then he has boom ship. Alright, fine. Don't have boom ship. Okay, you got boom ship. Just don't have like three minions. Oh god, three minions came out. It's a Lich King. It's a Rot Face. This Rot Face has traded into one of my weak minions. He got a Tyrion from it. Mm, okay, yeah, I see it. I see it. <laughs> if I can imagine myself being boned like that. Yeah, no, it's a good card. It's like getting oak carded on 9. Alright. Uh, I think that's all the warrior cards. Hey, lights out.